No Vikings camp available today, so we didn't get any fresh news today as far as what happened in the moment. But since I was off yesterday and I didn't get on here and talk purple, I figured, man, let me go on here and talk about what happened yesterday. Some things that I seen this morning because I winded up catching up and watching the interview with Kevin O'Connell that he did yesterday. And there were some nice nuggets in there, but just a couple other things, too, that we're going to touch on. Right. The first thing I want to touch on, man, is Doogie. Doogie Wolfson, man. Shout out to him, man. He does stuff over there at Purple Daily, but he did something with my boy SK, man, from Purple and Scold Media, man. Shout out my boy SK, man. But he said, Dalton Reisner isn't a lock. Now, that t- it's kind of surprising to me. And trust me, I, I take Doogie's word, man. I know he knows his stuff, um, and that's for sure. But I think Dalton Reisner, when I look at the depth of our offensive line, particularly in the guard position, I think that Dalton Reisner absolutely is a lock. Like, I wouldn't see, any diff- I wouldn't see it any different um, that he doesn't make the team or anything like that. I just think when it comes to the talent level, um, yes, Blake Brandell is definitely a name that we're looking at 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 Ingram right there but it's like after that who are we talking about here if it ain't Dalton Rise I don't know man so that was one thing I heard man another thing which is bad news is Robert Tunyon obviously got carted off yesterday they said the injury was pretty bad if you're getting carted off man but we'll see what happens you know because it's and, and, that, and that's kind of disheartening due to the fact that we were getting a lot of good things coming out of camp about Robert Tunyon, just saying that he was using his hands to catch the ball, just making plays, man, and maybe having that resurgence. But again, you know, I mean, things happen in football, man. We've already been getting the injury bug as Minnesota Vikings fans, and it just continues to happen. But we have, I feel like when it comes to our tight end room, we do have some depth there. So I believe we will be okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see how Nikhil Harry takes on that tight end position man I mean haven't heard anything yet but we'll see man hopefully as the night practice comes and just as the weeks go maybe preseason we see him in there man to kill Harry man I'm ready to see what you're doing at tight end bro because I got big dreams for you man I think it's going to actually be something that we can use if you understand how to play the position then we got JJ McCarthy looking good getting reps with the number one offense soon man All right, Kevin O'Connell came out the day before yesterday and said, listen, J.J. McCarthy will eventually get reps with the number ones, the offense. Now, he's going against the number one defense. Like, he's going against the ones on defense, and he's actually doing really good. So he's playing with the twos but dominating against the number one defense. So to me, that's a win-win situation, man. Um, Again, I don't have to sit here and go on and on about how I feel about J.J. McCarthy and why I think that he should be QB1 starting sooner than later. You feel me? Like, I I have a timeline where I'm okay with as a Vikings fan, but ultimately we don't make the decisions. We just got to ride with the team and hope that they make the right decisions. And, and, and to be honest with you, I trust our coach, man. KOC, I trust him. All right. I trust him, man. That is a fact. Another thing that KOC dropped in that interview that was interesting is he wants to play the players that give us the best chance to win the football games. He said that out of his own mouth, man. The horse said it out of his own mouth. Now, let me ask you this as Vikings fans. We're seeing all this stuff coming out of camp, and let's just say it continues to trend this way. You know, as the weeks go through preseason and all, J.J. McCarthy just seems to just be that much better than Sam Darnold. Just seems he's just a couple steps ahead of him, although he's a rookie, right? Um, If you look at what he said and you pay attention to what he said, that lets you know right there, and it's clear when you hear Kevin O'Connell talk, nobody is labeled QB1 right now. I know some fans out here believe that, Hey, Sam Donald, it's a lock. He's QB1. There's nothing's going to change that. But from what I hear, and I trust the coach, man, I'm going to go off of what he's saying. Nobody has won the job yet. And if I had to guess, it seems like JJ's actually winning the job because when he's asked about the quarterback position, he usually talks to JJ first, Sam Donald second, right? And it naturally does it. And that is also a sign that he's leaning more into JJ. And that could be because he's a rookie. He knows he's trying to help develop him and get him ready. That could be the case. But naturally, you would be talking about your starting quarterback and what you're doing to get him ready to actually win the football, not a developmental quarterback that you're looking at in the future task, like of a year from now. You would be talking about right now what we're doing to speed up and get Sam Donald ready so that we can compete for the playoff. No, he's leaning into JJ, man, rightfully so, and he should. All right. Another thing he said, KOC is going to commit to the run game, and they asked him, 
Are you going to commit to the run game? Aaron Jones, Ty Chandler. He really likes Ty Chandler. He said Ty Chandler last year proved that he can be our number one back. But now we got Aaron Jones. Those two together are going to be a big dynamic. Now, he could be saying that just to throw off the opponents because we all know Kevin O'Connell loves to throw the football. Now, he could be saying, yeah, we're going to lean into the run a lot more this year. Well, the film won't lie. All right, that might work for week one, week two. But I'm going to tell you, after that, teams are going to say, yeah, he was capping on that. You feel me? Like, he said that, but he don't mean that right and but if you ask me as a Vikings fan I hope we do lean into the run a little bit more than we did last year we definitely need to and I don't think we have that much of a choice being our quarterback position right because as much as I believe JJ is going to be that dude and Sam Darnold could possibly have a surgeons this year playing in purple at the end of the day both of those type both of those guys definitely are going to need a running game to help them be the best they can be that's just the facts and they're gonna and we're gonna need it as Vikings fans as far as defense playing good football and running the ball that's what we're gonna need that's going to definitely have to be part of our formula to go as far as we want to go as Minnesota Vikings bro I just feel like that is the truth right and you could drop it down in the comments if you feel different but I just think we definitely are going to have to learn how to utilize the run game this year because last year it was obsolete I and the last thing man the very last thing football game start tonight the Texans going against the Bears I mean boo to the Bears right this game it's exciting because it's football you feel me I'm going to be locked in I want to see our opponent man I love watching the enemy you know they say keep your friends close but your enemies closer man Vikings fans we got to tap in we got to be able to criticize tomorrow on X or on Facebook or whatever you're posting YouTube. We got to be able to criticize the Bears on how trash they was tonight. I'm definitely going Texans 50-0, bruh. Book it. You hear me? Y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't going to do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toes with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm tourist. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.